Today, U.S. District Court Judge Marvin Garvis says he's dismissing some of the claims against City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby, but as you mentioned, allowing several others to go forward. Officer Edward Nero, Lieutenant Brian Rice, and Sergeant Alicia White are suing Mosby and Sheriff Major Sam Kogan. He signed off on the statement of probable cause that led to the arrest of the officers. Back in October, Judge Garvis heard arguments why the case should go forward or be dismissed. Now, today, he issued his ruling. The judge ruled the following claims are pending. Malicious prosecution, defamation, invasion of privacy, false light, and Section 1983 Fourth Amendment claims. Now, this article goes to the issue of whether the defendants have qualified immunity or absolute immunity. Lawyers for Marilyn Mosby argued her job description entitles her to absolute immunity. Back in October, the judge says there is a distinction because Mosby acted as both investigator and prosecutor in the case. The federal judge dismissed the following claims, false arrest, false imprisonment, abuse of process, conspiracy, Section 1983 Fourth Amendment claims based on the presentation she made to the grand jury, and all claims against the state of Maryland. The judge says the court shall promptly conduct a conference regarding further proceedings. The bottom line, the officer's lawsuit against Marilyn Mosby is moving forward. Mosby and others could be subject to detailed depositions. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.